Welcome to this TKO tutorial on OneDrive for Business. OneDrive is a cloud service offered by Microsoft. This is the part two of the course. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to manage files and folders shared with you. And I will show you how to manage files and folders you have shared with others. And then we will tackle some common issues with OneDrive Sync client. After that, we will look at how to collaborate and co-author documents, and then document version history, and how to stop syncing to free up space, and reallocating or moving local OneDrive sync folder. Last but not least, recycle bin and OneDrive restore feature. Let's get started. When someone shares a file or folder with you, you get an email like this. It is quite convenient and easy to access it. However, imagine a few dozen emails over a few months of duration. Quite difficult to keep track of everything. That's one shared with me feature comes in handy. Once logged on to your OneDrive account, the left hand navigation bar, click shared. You will see two links on the top, shared with me and shared by me. The upper section is called Popular Items, files people have been working on recently. The lower section lists the items shared with you. Ok, let's pretend for a moment that you have a long list of items here. You can sort them in ascending or descending order. You can sort by name, date shared, shared by who, recent activity on the files, very handy feature. And you can also filter them. You can filter by file type, filter by time modified, filter by specific person, etc. Cross it out here to clear the filter. The other link on the top is shared by me. Click on it and you will get to the list of all the items you have shared. Click on the vertical dot next to an item, or you can also do it from your local OneDrive folder. Right click, share, click on ellipses, manage access. Second one is the instance you have shared with Peter Parker. And the first one is with external people. Click on it, you can change the expiration date if there is one, or set an expiration date, or cross it out to stop sharing. Click stop sharing, and that link will no longer work. Let's look at it from the other end. This is the original email shared the folder. If sync status icons are missing, most probably the OneDrive client is not running. Check the system tray area for OneDrive client icon. You may need to open hidden icons tray as well. Missing there as well. Then you will need to restart the client. Click start menu. Start typing OneDrive and OneDrive apps show up in the list. Click on it, the sync icon will reappear. You will see the some sync status icon are red. That means there are some issues. When OneDrive client stopped running, sync conflicts are the most common issues. You may have updated the same file in different devices. Right click on the client and it will show you the problem child. Click on it. 
click on the file. You have two options. The first one is open both of the files and merge the changes manually. If it is a simple fix, you should do that. The other option is to keep both of the files and deal them later. One version will have file name appended with your computer name. Another common issue is file name too long or path too deep. You can have up to 400 characters for your file name, including the whole path. Click on open location and simply rename the file. Easy fix if it is just a few files, but can be a nightmare if you need to do that for a lot of files in multiple folders. OneDrive support co-authoring or co-editing a document with your team members. Of course, everyone will need edit permission. So you have shared this document with Peter to do co-authoring. Once you open the document, you will see if others are editing at the same time. This is you. And in this area, you will see other editors. Let's look at Peter. When you hover over, you can see his name and the location that he is editing. Click on the icon and click on go to location. You can see Peter's edits real time and his cursor has a different color. Co-authoring is not limited to Word. You can co-author Excel sheets and PowerPoint slide decks as well. This is Peter. This is you. Same thing with PowerPoint. Once Peter opened the document, his icon will show up here. You can see that Peter is editing on slide 2. It is not just for Office documents. OneDrive support version history for all file types. I will demonstrate it from the Edge browser. Let's look at this marketing plan document. Right click or Click on the vertical ellipsis, version history. You will see all the versions and edits. Let's say you don't like the last edit made by Peter and want to roll back to the previous version. Open it and see if everything looks okay. Click restore. Close it and close it. Click refresh. Go back to the file, version history, and you will see your version is added at the top. Stop syncing to free up space. Let's say you are done with the project you walked on and you no longer need instant access to the project files. You can get your space back on local drive. From your local OneDrive sync folder, right click on the project folder, click free up space. The sync status icon will change to cloud. You can still see the folder and files inside, but they now sit on the cloud only. You will need to do a bit different if you no longer want to sync a SharePoint library or a folder shared by someone. Right click on the OneDrive client, settings. So this is the library. 
click on stop sync. The folder will still be there, but it's no longer syncing with the cloud. By default, OneDrive store files on OS partition, and if you have a second storage drive, you may want to move the OneDrive folder to free up space. Right-click the OneDrive sync icon and select Settings on the Account tab. Click Unlink this PC. Click again and close the window. Then navigate to the folder Right-click the folder, select Cut. Navigate to the new location and paste. Start the OneDrive client. Sign back in. Change location. You will get a prompt. Click Use this folder to confirm. Let's say you accidentally deleted a file. Let's refresh. There's a cloud recycle bin. The cloud recycle bin functions similarly to the one from your Windows 10 desktop. Click on the recycle bin, you will see the file that you deleted. Pretty handy feature. But Microsoft won't farther than that. There's a very cool feature called Restore OneDrive. Click on the gear icon here. You can restore the whole OneDrive to an earlier state. Click on Restore OneDrive and it will ask you to select a date. You can do yesterday, one week ago, etc. And you can even do a custom date and time. I hope this has been informative for you and thank you for watching.